Welcome to video number six. I'm going to show you how to uh, integrate this invoice into your um, estimating worksheet or workbook. Remember the whole thing is called a workbook. Each one of these is called a worksheet. Um, in our last video we had an invoice built out of a template to this point. Probably another thing I want to mention at this point is um, I'm not a professional uh, at estimating. I'm not a professional at Excel. I said in one of the posts, if all Excel knowledge was a baseball, I know enough to fill maybe one stitch. Um, so we're just having a conversation. I'm showing you how I use Excel tools. Uh, I'm showing you how I organize my workbook so that I can keep all of my information in one spot and I can have a digital invoice that I can email to people um, and I can keep track of everything in, on, uh, on my computer. We are going to take this invoice. I don't like this. I'm going to change uh, my invoice to just one color. Um, when I, I like to fold my invoice right on top of this blue line and then slip it into a window envelope that my that way when I print out this invoice I don't have to get out an envelope and start printing but when I did that off the air I could see that I had to be down at this level so that tells me I've got one one row too many up here in the header I can right click and I can delete row now I'm gonna go back for me that doesn't work real well. I prefer the way I learned how to do it. I prefer to come over here, go down to row. It's a, for me, it's just faster. Now, before I send this out, I should always do spell check. Now, it's it, it what it did is it checked the spelling in this cell. Do I want to start at the beginning of the sheet? Yes, I do. I don't like the way I did any town. I'm going to ignore that because that's how we spell it doesn't like the way I did Iowa and they're right on that I'm gonna have I'm gonna leave that alone because they don't have a uh, well maybe they do no nope, they don't I'm gonna ignore and the spelling is complete for the whole sheet usually I spell receipt wrong but I'm gonna come back up here to Iowa and correct my spelling now I've got one extra space down here, and that's one of the things I wanted to show you. Um, when I was off the air, I played with some things. Um, when I took this invoice and uh, transferred it over, it took some formatting things with it. Where do I have that? Okay. it in YouTube. Yes, here is where I did this. Um, I copied that invoice that calculates and I took out a column. That left some formatting issues here. Um, if I move this up and then move that up, I still have some formatting things that are going to show up. Uh, they're going to cause the printer to print out another sheet of paper even though there's nothing on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and this area down here, see I've got a row that goes all the way through but the, the column doesn't show up in that row and the same thing here. That's the format, the guy who wrote the original did some formatting things that I don't exactly understand. I'm going to clear formats. So when I clear formats, that took this used to be centered, so it took the centering function out and it restored the, everything to clear lines. Now I can take this and move it up, and take this and move it up. I can add rows like I did in the other one. And uh, but if you start seeing those after you take something off the internet and you see have problems printing or you have problems with uh, a row not going all the way through just come up here and clear formats and it'll also if I 
if I clear the format here, no, wrong one. It takes the color out, it takes the dollar symbol out. Um, now I'm going to go back to our original invoice. We have one extra row here. I'm just going to leave that. Now I'm going to come down here. I can right click and rename. Or I can just double click and then rename. Double left click. I am going to take this invoice. I'm going to, I have to do some things with screencasts that you're not probably going to see. I'm on invoice, I'm going to make a copy of this, and that's going to be our estimate. Um, I'm going to move our copy. We're going to create a copy. I'm going to put it in between bill worksheet and estimate worksheet. So it's going to be before sheet, bill, this one. And we're going to, uh, I double clicked, I double left clicked. No, I don't want to do another invoice. I want estimate letter. Okay, for our estimate letter, um, I'm going to change this to say estimate. Um, we're not going to have checks anymore, so I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. I'm not going to use this verbiage either. I'm going to press that. I've taken some text here. This is uh, some text that I got. It's all, all of this information is in this cell. This B3 doesn't have any information. All this information is in A3. I, I took this, this text from uh, um, an estimate that I saw on uh, file, swap, yeah, file swap on um, contractor talk. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to my estimate letter, put it in here in this cell, I'm going to put paste. Now you can see it's going all the way over into three sheets. So we still have this cell highlighted. I'm going to wrap text and that will put all of the information, it will put all the information in one cell. Uh, it will, what I want to say put it in different lines for you, but it's still one, that's still A43, one cell. That's still highlighted, so I'm going to make that smaller. Um, it appears that all this information will fit on one sheet because I have done, uh, that's what our estimate will look like. Now I want to change one thing here. I'm going to change this verbiage to say prepared for and this will be the name street town so now I've got an estimate letter and I've got an invoice let's go back to the estimate letter um, this is going to be labor and I don't like that so I'm going to put everything in here. Well, yeah, for right now, I'm going to put everything in here as a, uh, a, a text size 12. And that's going to make that too large for my page. So I'm going to go back. I'll probably do those that stuff individually. I'll do labor. Usually my labor column has got a lot more text in it. I'll come down here and write materials. My labor, this cell is going to equal my estimate worksheet. So that's my total labor. Enter. My materials are going to be, I'm going to press equal, come back to my estimate worksheet, and there's my total materials. Enter. And because this is a, uh, this invoice we got off the internet has a uh, sum of B15 through B39 itself totals. I'm going to make that large.
larger. I'm going to make everything in this column size 12 print. I'm going to make these two size 12 print. I'm going to make everything else. I'm going to press control and then highlight these. Let's see if it lets me do it. We're going to make that size 11 print. And I'm going to have to eliminate a couple of lines. Probably three lines in order to get it on a sheet. I probably could have eliminated just two. We'll just leave that there for now. Okay. I also, on my estimate, I don't want this to say payment of due upon receipt, so I'm going to clear the format, clear all. So now I have an estimate with a little bit of language here at the bottom telling them it's an estimate, it's not a contract. I'm going to go to my invoice. I'm going to also um, labor for, and in this column, press equals, go back to my bill worksheet. My labor cost is right there. That's enter. And uh, again, I usually most do most of my description in this in these in the labor area. And materials is generally a pretty light column. Everything is or a pretty light. Um, so I write materials. Press enter. Bill worksheet. Now, if I would have done some of this formatting before, I'm going to press, th uh, then I probably wouldn't have to redo it again before I made a copy. <coughs> I'm going to highlight that. I'm holding down control and I'm left clicking. All of these are going to get size 12 print. This is going to get to oh, size 16 print. Actually, I want everything here to be size 12 print. So if I put something else in here, it'll show up as a size 12 print. I'm going to take these cells. I'm going to press Control and also use these. And we're going to make them size 11 print. And it looks like we're still within the, um, the border of one page. Print preview gives me, yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Okay, now you've got a, uh, you've got a, uh, an estimate, you've got an estimate letter, you've got a bill worksheet, you've got a, oh, that's my practice invoice, um, and you've got a, uh, uh, an invoice. I'll show it with the practice worksheet. I put in a gradient in there at the top. I'll show you how I did that on my regular invoice. Highlight this area here. Go to Format. Go to Format Cells. Go to Fill Effects. Now this is the one color, which is here or there. These are the different ways you can arrange it. The color that we've been using is in this color chart. Okay. Nope. I want to go back to fill effects. There we go. I want this color to be on top. And now I've got an invoice that looks like that. I have just about 30 seconds left. We're going to start with another sheet. And this is going to be our cover sheet. And, uh, well, no, I. double left click and name this and we are just about out of time I'm going to move that to the very beginning and on this cover sheet